guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm cleaning, I'm coming to you guys with a new video. And this video is going to um, show you how I clean my jewelry. Just a disclaimer. Um, this is how I clean my jewelry. Um, sometimes each person likes um, to do their own cleaning and has their own method of cleaning. It doesn't make it wrong or right. It's just that, you know, we're individuals and we kind of have our own um, ways of doing things. But... You know, maybe once a month or when I get, you know, I thrift a lot and I get a lot of jewelry. So I go ahead and um, clean my jewelry and I clean it this way. Um, we have to be really careful with the stones. With the stones, I use another procedure. But if the stones are not very, um, you know, uh, precious metals, I use this this way. So what you're going to need if you want to go ahead and, and, and clean. So it's um, aluminum foil. And you're going to use the, the shiny part. And we have a um, crystal glass bowl, so you're gonna put and pull and um, all the your aluminum foil that way, okay? And you want to make sure that it's you know the shiny part is in the top, and you're gonna place all the jewelry that you want to clean. So I have a couple of bracelets. Um, I have this necklace that's you know they're all dirty because you know they you own owned oils stained your um jewelry so i have that one and this is um i can go ahead and put it in here it's very heavy i have this that i'm gonna clean and this is this is my jewelry that i wear every day and this is um very beautiful snowflake and in the back it's already kind of tarnished so I'm gonna go ahead and clean it and I have this bracelet as well and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there and this one is, and this is just for today's wear that it got really dirty so I like it because it has um very simple and um, the stones and it's it got really dirty it's a stone silver as well so we put it in there um, I don't like to wear this this like doing this when there's pearls or there's, um, you know, type of stones. And I have my Pandora bracelets here as well. And I'm going to show you how I clean that, okay? So once you have your um, items there, okay? You're going to pour some um, hot water. Not boiling hot, just kind of look warm water in the bowl. And then you're going to put some more in this bowl as well. Okay, so we're going to put the water right there. And we're going to have one uh, measuring. This is one teaspoon. And you're going to do a teaspoon of baking soda. One, one and a half teaspoon, depending on how, you know, your jewelry. And salt just normal salt and you're gonna do one teaspoon of salt and you're gonna put the salt in there still in the half because I have quite a few jewelries right there and using a plastic spoon you don't want to use metal because then you end up scratching just kind of kind of twist it like that you know, you steer it, steer. So you're gonna leave it there, steering to mix all the ingredients together, like that. Okay, like so. So use that spoon, and you wanna be mixing and mixing. On the other bowl, you're gonna do the same. You're gonna put just one two tablespoons of just baking soda and you're gonna I use um, baby shampoo because it's delicate and it's um, gentle and you're gonna put it in your in your bowl and you're gonna get um, toothbrush that you're not using and you're gonna mix Mix that and you're going to get your um, bracelets in. 
all these bracelets have um, stones, enamel, and all that kinds of stuff. But um, we're gonna mix and mix, and I have a couple of rings. They have um, stones, and this is my my little ring, and. We're gonna throw this in there into the mix. Okay, so you're gonna shake, 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 shake it very, very well. Okay, and we're gonna leave this here for maybe five, ten minutes, depending on how dirty your um your jewelry is in here. You wanna want to steer. And like I said, you want to wait um, you know, maybe 10 minutes. Give it a rest, give it a whirl. Like you're cooking. But we're gonna keep staring and staring and we'll be right back okay guys i forgot to show you this um earrings that i just bought which inspired this um they are very tarnished you know if you can see they're very i'm gonna put them in there and they were only Okay, they were only $4.95. So I forgot to show you guys that. And then I'm gonna put this these two rings in here too in the mix. And then I wanna swirl so and give it a whirl. And on that one, I'm gonna keep steering. Don't forget to steer you guys, okay? Okay, so we're back after a few moments. So you're gonna get your little um, toothbrush and you're gonna just kind of give it a whirl. And like that, like this. Can you guys tell? This is so clean. And then after you guys do this, you're gonna rinse them with a um, little bit lukewarm water to remove all the soap and all the uh, the baking soda right there. But you guys can tell. And. And your rings, anything you might have. Just gonna stretch.
Jesus Christ. And so um, you do the, the same, and then you rinse, you know, you rinse all the, the jewelry after a few moments. And then this one, um, you do the same. You kind of, I want to show you guys so you can see the difference. Because I don't know if you saw this when it came in, when it went in. You guys can see the difference. And you can just do the same. You're going to kind of get a little whirl like that. And, you know, same. You're going to rinse them with um, warm water. The ring is so heavy that it can go in. And, and so and there might be pieces that need my little bit more time. So just, you know, leave them if they need more time. If you feel that they need more time. This is one of my favorite um, pieces. It's a snowflake. I love snowflakes. And you can see the difference. And then there's this that I put it in at the end. And so this might need a little bit more time in the... So if they need more time, so because some pieces are dirtier than others, they need more time. But look at this. Just leave them there. Okay. Okay. You guys and I, so now I have a clean cloth and I'm just going to dry after I, I went ahead and rinsed with water. I scrubbed and I rinsed with water. I want you guys to check it out. So oh, this is Very gently. So remember, guys, anything that you have with stones, with precious gems, just use um, baking. Um, you just uh, baking soda, and um, lukewarm water, and you know, very delicate soap. That's all, and. You're gonna see a huge difference on your um, jewelry. I want to show you guys this. I didn't clean it since I got it. But I want to show you guys. And this one's right here. You couldn't tell at the beginning that it were purple stones. And this is malachite, so you know we have to be uh, extra careful. But clean as a whistle, and then I have a ring. And so same with the I put a um, pad to dry. So just kind of um, you can you know dry them with this cloth, or I have um, a special jewelry. Cleaner, right there. And well, guys, I hope you liked and enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up and um, comment and subscribe. And I hope you guys stay blessed. Love you guys.